mad. Sorry, let's go. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, I'm going to have, I'm going to, have to leave you to the make to run out. Yes, please make yourself please safe as fast safe. as possible. No, 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 Thank no, you. Sorry. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know. So everyone came charging out. Sorry. Sorry. Are you okay, Andy? Yeah, we're good. Good for the minute. I don't quite know where everyone came charging from somewhere. Well, it's obviously a very, very unpredictable and dangerous situation. I think that was probably a lot of panic. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah, well, understandably, because there are so many reports of other incidents, but at the moment, all those reports are unconfirmed. It would appear at the moment there is one major incident at the Mandalay Bay, but there have been lots of other reports flying around social media. I think that is causing a lot of panic in Vegas. Are you OK, Andy? Yeah, yeah, I'm good for a minute. I'm good for a minute. Oh, it was just, uh, I thought it was all sorted, and then suddenly about 300 people came charging out of a room. And have, Andy, have you um, established why they, wh why they were charging, where they were charging to from? I had no idea. I've got a load of the porters now suddenly coming. Oh, oh, that, was a, that was a false alarm. Well, I'm not surprised. Right. I mean, it's... Sorry, that was a false alarm by the sound of it. It sounds like an incredibly tense, frightening situation. OK. OK, I'm going to try to go back to the ballroom now. Well, for those... Uh, so, so much of that, uh, the lockdown finished. <laughs> yeah, for those who are tuning in and not aware of what's happening here, there's been a major incident in Las Vegas where at least one shooter at the Mandalay Bay Resort has fired automatic gunfire, hundreds of rounds down on a crowd of several thousand people watching an open air concert. And we're talking to Andy Williamson, who's a, uh, one of eyewitnesses who's currently under lockdown at the Bellagio Hotel near the Mandalay Bay. And Andy, why were you in Las Vegas? Why was I in Las Vegas? Yeah. Uh, just holidaying. Mm. I mean, everyone, you know, I was there a few weeks ago. It's a place that people go to to have fun, for entertainment, for shows, to play in the casinos and so on. You never imagine, do you, in your wildest nightmares that you're going to have somebody on the 32nd floor of one of these hotels opening fire with a machine gun on thousands uh, of people? No, we, we weren't expecting that, no. Like, what what else? Can, can you see anything else, Andy, from where you are? Uh, no, no, we can't. No, we've been now ushered back down to the ballrooms again. And how many people are there with you? Um, I would say probably four or five hundred. Wow. And um, and who are you getting your information from? Are you uh, are police there, or is this hotel staff trying to make no, sense it's, of it? No, it's more from porters and the hotel, so I don't really know how much they actually know. Are you there? I mean, we don't want to, you know, obviously. Uh, Pry, but are you with family? Are you there with friends on your own? I mean, are you... Uh, I'm just here with my girlfriend. Yeah. Well, I mean, look after each other. It's, uh, yeah, it's, we will do. It's obviously... Um, it's a terrible situation for, you, for anyone to be in, frankly, and it sounds utterly terrifying. Well, You're... we're going to go to... Um, Andy, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We appreciate that. We may speak to you again. Across Staying Boston, very King. cool in, in the crisis, yeah. Andy, um, because it sounds like there's a lot of panic and yeah. people are hearing a lot of rumours about what's going on. Well, Ross King, uh, our correspondent, is in Los Angeles. So, Ross, at the moment, uh, two people confirmed dead, 24 confirmed at least wounded, of whom apparently 14 now, they're saying are critically injured. Uh, but you have to expect, given the scenes that we've been witnessing, of uh, so many hundreds of rounds raining down on these concert goers, that that casualty toll may rise significantly. Yeah, you think it definitely has to. Uh, also, that police briefing confirming that one suspect uh, is definitely down. And this all happening up at the south end. For people who know of Las Vegas or have seen it, up near the airport, uh, that's where the Mandalay Bay Hotel is. As we said, still those unconfirmed reports of incidents at other hotels, but again, not wishing to panic other people. And this all happened at a country music open-air concert. Jason Aldean was on stage in his final number. People thought it was fireworks and then realising that it sadly 
actually uh, was just hundreds of uh, shots from a, an automatic weapon from the 32nd floor. Also, uh, ITV, we've got a crew uh, in Las Vegas at the moment. They're shooting a reality show uh, with quite a few celebrities, but I'm just hearing all ITV crew also safe back in the hotel. Uh, the celebs are in the house 20 minutes from the strip, but everyone uh, is okay and safe there. And I know so many people in the UK will be thinking about family and friends who are there at the moment. As we know, the strip itself had been shut down. It sounds as if it's open a little bit, but obviously there's still so much panic and confusion there. Well, indeed, uh, thousands of fans were there at that uh, open-air music festival, the Route 91 festival, and Jason Aldean was the artist who was performing, I think, the closing act at that festival when a shooter appeared to have opened fire multiple rounds into the crowd. Um, we understand two people are dead, a number of people injured, including 14 critical. Lorraine will have more after this break.